Uh, today we will cover the lines of sheet surface by myself and music and Changmin will lead the discussion. And next week it will be the midterm project presentations. Tuesday and Tuesday. Starting from screen number four. Right. Any question? Any I have no my portion of uh, thanks. Okay. Okay. So hull foam, hull is a surface of the ship and forms free foam surface. Freeform is a curved shape. And then in old days, there was no computer graphics, three dimensional computer graphics. So when I was a student, I drew the lines using uh, plastic buttons and pen and pencils. And, but that was a very tough job. But you need that line to make the plate cutting and bending and welding at the shipyard construction site. So still you need uh, lines. But in, in actually in uh, full scale lines, not, not uh, scale down the small size of lines you are seeing on the screen, but full scale line, because we need to have a full scale construction of the ship using uh, thickness, uh, that's why you need to know what is going on there. For bones. So it is a, a, a section of previous one in the whole proportions. There are many options. Many, many options. Uh, also, here is the uh, uh, ratios, ratios to make uh, designers to select his own design. Depending on the mission of the ship, it can be a high speed one, it can be a slow speed one, it can be a large cargo carrying, or it can be a passenger ship, is a cruise ship or battleship. Depending on the ship purpose, you should select your design. Right? And depending on the mission, uh, there is a trend and there is a preferred uh, ratio. So length depth ratio usually comes together with a structural design rather than other items. Because of D, D is a uh, body, body in the middle. See, my my body is very slender, right? So structurally, my body is not good. And long slender is that we can bending. So that is the uh, structural uh, length, length depth ratio. Oh. May you may calculate your your body's own uh, length depth ratio. Just length beam uh, ratio is looks similar, but is depending on the uh, water water surface, water line, water line breadth. So that in the uh, when you say running inside the water. Shallow water or deep water, you may feel a very high resistance, right? That is uh, related with the length beam ratio. Usually, slender uh, ships, such as a uh, uh, Japan battleship, and there was a uh, war between Japan and Korea 16th centuries. Uh, Japan ship was very uh, high length beam ratio so that they can run better than Korean ship. So it has a different characteristics. Leanness and maneuverability turning surface. Maneuverability turning. In terms of turning, then spread ratio, short one is better. As you expect. Round one, round one can be rotated easily rather than long sled one. Long sled one is better for keeping your directions, but it's not easy to turn. 
you can think about the uh, speed skating on ice skating. You have a figure skating is a short one. The blade is short. Half here is short. But speed skating has a longer blade that has a different character. Cold right? keeping, high speed, but turn, turning is for figures and half. Many of Length draft ratio is for blow, bow slamming. Bow slamming means uh, ship is running in a way, but when it is going down in this way, sometimes it, the bow, bow is a front end of the ship hitting the water surface or main surface because it's a slamming. Right? And that slamming gives you sometimes a structural failure on the plate because the uh, speed or acceleration there, or slamming or damage during severe weather, right? And then beam draft ratio, it is related to stability of capsizing and wave making characteristic. When ship is running, the behind the ship there is a wave is coming. We call this a Kelvin wave. We we'll see in the later stage, but ship is making waves so that is related to beam draft ratio and cb and lb also related to maneuverability so hull form so it looks like the same length of three shape but it has a slender shape and a blunt shape in the middle so it can be good faster and good uh, in wave uh, it has no small uh, volume inside. So cargo capacity wise, it's not. <laughs> so performance and error B, length beam ratio. Uh, tanker bulk carrier, not 17 knots, resistance, error B. So a higher value means uh, high, high slender, right? Slender. So that same speed, the resistance is rolled down as the elbow is increased. As you expect. Container refers, resistance same, elbow is same scale. The so speed is higher, 20 knots, 17 knots. Tank cover carrier is usually low speed. A cruise ship very similar speed as a container refer. Refer means a refrigerator container, refrigerator. Okay. Each container has a, itself is a refrigerator. They want to carry food, fresh. <clears throat> All right. And this is a fullness ratio or, or based on speed. So you, you see that this one is carries a speed length ratio. Uh, top is a speed, uh, bottom is a L at the length. G is a gravitational uh, acceleration coefficient and root. So speed length ratio is written by this way. And then this is CB, 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 block coefficient. So relationship between fruit number and block. So fruit number and speed length ratio is, is all, uh, almost coming together. Only difference is that G is here or not. So there is a, a, a point, each point we kind of one shape, resisting one shape. So as a designer, you need to collect many resisting shapes to draw such a figure to make, make out a trend curve. So the, this curve is drawn by say, using a software or something. But in old days, when I was young, I drew myself in hand and pencil. To see, so what? What is my block efficient? What, what is my good number? The targeting, depending on the ship time, so that we, we can get a guideline for this for the design. So this curve maybe you can find from software that the uh, equation for this curve using a uh, statistics uh, software. And ship type, lighter is a light uh, bulk carrier, tanker, general cargo ship, container ship, ferry boat. 
location changes, reducing, and then uh, shift speed and, and not uh, increasing. Uh, okay, so why we need to have a line drawing? For the ship is in 3D, cold surface. The surface is very complicated, freeform surface we, we see, but in, in we need to have a 2D paper drawing. Still, we need a 2D paper drawing at the shipyard, at the practice uh, area. But the, as the technology is uh, increasing, developing, we slightly more changing into more and more 3D shapes at the uh, shipyard practice yard too. Using such as a uh, personal PDA, is not, not much one, and carry notebook. All uh, right. So this one is the old style of uh, mold loft uh, drawing shape, drawing uh, office, so that you draw the curved line for this. And this line is used for cutting the steel plate. So this is should be a real size, ship size of the curve. But it was possible when there was a not so big ships, wooden ships or small ships, up to say say 50 meter long something, you can do that. But if the ship is for 500 meters, you still can do that, but you need to have a section wise room. So nowadays it's disappearing. That is replaced by a computer drawing of computer graph. So the problem of drawing a curved three-dimensional surface, curved surface on a flat sheet of paper. So we need to have a, such a mold uh, drawing of office in old days. Say so you can think about the soccer ball and tennis ball making. The soccer ball is made of pieces. But if you cut off that into pieces, still the portion is curved. But it's made of a flexible one so that you can make that one. But if you think of this is a steel made soccer, well, yeah. how can you make this? Because each plate uh, 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 grid is made of also circuits. Yeah? But she is saying it. So you need to start from a flat, flat plate and cutting and then bending and welding to make the circle. These of two dimensional contour is used from uh, parallel cross cuts in reality. The cut table approach contour maps with constant elevation is the same as you can think about the slicing of uh, bread or fish. Same as this. Similar to this one. On the map, the three view on the landmark is the height map, same contour map, same as the ship. So we are cutting in this way, cross cutting, uh, cross section, you see finally around the body plane. If you cut in a uh, water, water line air, uh, level, we, we Arrive at half spread plane like this one, and then if you cut in vertical sections in this way, then you arrive at sheer sheer plane. All you need to, to represent a shape in this way: the body plane here, water plane is a shear line in previous one, and water plane line is is a half spread plane. What plane? And then so when I was a student, I drew myself in this like a shape drawing, line drawing. It takes one one semester of actually half semester of to draw in one day. And it was an exam. It, they, the, the teacher checked whether the shit is well drawn. Length overall, length between perpendicular, this present depth, and depth in this place. 
Good. Right, here is a video. We can use even paper drawings if necessary. Import initial information. In general, to define initial hull shape, we can use any available information. It can be General arrangement plans and profile 2D preliminary lines drawing Three D lines drawing. Different type of CAD files with hull surface. We can use even paper drawings if necessary. Based on initial information, hull surface can be created quickly and with high quality. Decks, appended parts, and all necessary surfaces can be also created. Initial stability data, such as displacement and center buoyancy, can be controlled. Hull shape optimization. Modern methods of computer fluids dynamic lets us to make ship resistance predictions. Results of the CFD calculations can be visualized together with hull lines. Waves pattern, pressure distribution around hull, streamlines show us area of the hull surface we can improve. After several CFD runs hydrodynamic quality will be optimized. Hull shape output files and documentation. Output documentation can be presented in several different documents. It can be classic lines drawing. Lines and sections by customer request. Offset table. Fared hull surface can be exactly transferred to most of known CAD systems. Hull shape design advantages. Start shape design from scratch on early stage of the project. Any information can be used for hull surface modeling. Short delivery time. For oh, have you heard about uh, CFD? Yes? No? Yes. No. <laughs> no. Right. What is CFD? Full name? Station of return. As you see from the uh, video, they can calculate the weight profile as the ship is running. Now there is a resistance measurement, but it also can be done by CFD. But instead of using a point paper experiment, more and more calculation can be done by computer. So CFT is growing area. More and more. So once you have a three-dimensional shape of the ships in CAD model, then you can use them for CFT, FEM, structural, other calculation, many other calculations. Right. Go on to next slide. 
Oh, this is the final one. So this it says body plan, and then they are saying this is offset tape. You already see from the video. Body plan, offset tape. That was the starting. Usually we start from this table in old days when I was a student. And then draw uh, three different lines. Okay. Question? No. Then we move on to next. Uh, speaker Yunshik coming. He's in video. Yunshik, are you in? Uh, all right, Rinshik, you can start your slide set. I'm going to go to the audio option. Check out there. Comment I will Yeah, you can start. Hello, uh, I'm Yuji Wam, and I heard my presentation about her form line. Context <coughs> is as follows. First, I'll show about the furniture. Furniture are clearly used in the context of street design and navier architecture. This is the essential for creating space and bar cards on the this car or other marriage structures. The term bar sparing refers to the process of ensuring that the line and curves of the ship parts are smooth and free from irregularity, which is crucial for reducing hydrodynamic hydrodynamic drag and ensuring a faster efficient performance. Some common furniture and techniques include first is burning vessel, a flexible wooden or plastic pattern used to test and adjust the smoothness of curves and the hull. It is placed along the hull to identify and correct any irregularities. Second is longboard. This is a long but Sending tools with sandpaper or plastic. They are used to uh, they are used to sand and smooth the surface of a hull to achieve the desired shape and bare line. Third is flying. This is the technique for taking measurement of a hull as this point to ensure that the curves and shapes are consistent and the design is different. Bare software is uh, in modern shape design and every architecture concept as the component to feature model and bear the hard shape allows the design adjustment and Analysis. Fire is very cut off. A filler material applied to the hard surface to correct its perfect chance and create a smooth surface. It can be sent down to achieve the desired shape. These tool and techniques are crucial in separating to ensure that. That they have had a dark color, a different color, and that their exterior surfaces are free from bumps, hollow, or irregularities that could negatively affect performance and poor efficiency. In this town, we can see how fluid the effect develops. Uh, as I mentioned in last slide, bearing is uh, commonly used 
to cover that joint or regular surface on the aircraft or protector to make them more aerodynamically efficient. They have reduced the fluid resistance and improved the overall performance and fuel efficiency of the open. Atop is the small open river like pieces of material such as yarn or fabric that is attached to the surface on the aircraft or other aerodynamic objects during testing. The purpose of the tarp is to visualize and observe the flow pattern. When flow over the surface to the object, the movement and orientation of the tarp provide information about the direction and behavior of the air of the flow. This is very novel for the assisting and optimizing aerodynamic and fluid dynamic performance. You can see the curvature discontinuous in positive state. Curvature discontinuous refers to points on a curve or surface where there is a sudden change or discontinuity in the curvature. Curvature discontinuous can have important implications in various Applications including software and design, robotics, and in engineering and manufacturing. Understanding culture is important for creating and analyzing a surface, particularly in areas like navy access. In mathematics and geometry, a curve is continuous and smooth. Tracing by a point or set of points in two dimension or three dimensional space. Can you speak a little bit slowly and louder? Okay, Professor. Curves can take on various shapes and forms, such as line, circle, square, and more complex or irregular patterns. Uh, to definition curves, there are two types of representation. Explicit versus explicit representation. In an explicit representation of the curve, the curve shape is defined directly as a relationship between the coordinates. Second is parametric representation. In a parametric representation, the curve is described in terms of one or more parameters. In curves, there are lots of properties, and curves propose the various properties that are essential for their mathematical and theory analysis, like this term. Uh, this, this thing is uh, how to representation of curve. First is spline. A spline is a flexible and smooth curve defined by a set of control points that influence its shape. It is typically used to create smooth and continuous curve between these points. Spline can be pitch wide defined it allowing them or uh, allowing them to approximate complex curves with common types of spline include the spline and nerve. Second is this spline. This spline stands for basic spline and is a generation of vector curves. This spline uses a set of control points and basic functions to define the curve. Unlike vector curves, this spline can easily represent complex shapes by adding or removing control points, and they provide a smooth translation between segments. Third is nerve. Nerve is 
the more advanced type of sign that it can be prime. It allows the both to a uniform distribution of control points along the curve and the inclusion of weight for control points, which a which enable precise control over the curve shape. Nerves are widely used in head 3D modeling and animation. There is a two types for curve generation. First is interpolation. Interpolation inter <clears throat> is the process of estimating value within a specific range or interval based on non data points. It aims to find a function or a curve that passes exactly through the given data point. Providing value at those specific points or anywhere in between. Second is approximation. Approximation is the process of finding a simple function that closely matches a set of data points without necessarily passing through them. It provides an estimate of the data but may not be exact at all points. A Hermit sign, also known as the Hermit curve, is the type of sign used in cryptography tasks and various fields for generating smooth and precisely controlled curves. It is named after a French mathematician, Harry Hermit, who made significant contributions to interpolation and curve theory. I saw some video about this slide. Sound is not coming. This video has a sound. Handshake. Yes, Professor. Is this video has a sound? Oh, no. This, this video has no sound. Oh, no sound. Okay. Let's see, figure five. A vector sign, often simply referred to a vector curve, is widely used in mathematical constructs in photographic tests and various ways for creating smooth and precise curves. Vector curves are named after the French engineer. Vector who developed them in the 1960s while working as a car manufacturer. Measure curve is defined by a set of control points which are used to determine the shape of the curve. The number of control points depends on the degrees of the major curve. For example, a cubic major curve is defined by four control points, two endpoints, and two control points that influence the state. I show some video of this.
or base time often refers to or bit time. It's a mathematical cost that is in has a very great for creating smooth and flexible cost. Bit time or uh, or generalized Generalization of special curve and offers several advantages, including the ability to re represent complex shape and curve with great flexibility. Like special curve, these signs are defined by as the set of control points and influence the shape of the curve. However, these signs typically have more control points and they are or weighted system to control the influence of each point of the curve. Large, which stands for non-interrational design, is a mathematical representation used in spread for creating precise and flexible curve for and surface. Earth is the extension of this kind of curve and surface, offering additional control to and facilities. Here is the, uh, I mentioned some characteristics for this curve. Nerve curve and surface are defined by a set of control points, much like Speed sign and vector curve. However, nerves are a weighted system where each control point has some associated weight and determine its influence, its influence on the curve or surface. Computer as the design is a specialized shape that leverage computer software and technology to assist in the design and analysis of this. One aspect of PSD is conventional hard form model, which involves the creation and modeling of traditional shape using computer as design techniques. Parameting model is often involved to create variation or hard form. Hard form. This means that the front hard state can be generated by adjusting specific design terms. For example, changing or length of the ratio or both shape can result in a modified hard design. I show the application of this PASD. Arduino wiring, formerly known as Freebone, is the comprehensive software solution for the design and construction of marine vessel and optical structure. It is specifically tailored to meet the needs of the shipbuilding and optical industry. Here, yeah, which stands for computer as at, at three dimensional interactive application, is a proper and comprehensive software circuit for that computer as engineering and mm -hmm. developed by a French company. Mm -hmm. Here is widely used in various industries, including aerospace, mm -hmm. automotive. Industrial design and model. It's for it's a software solution designed for the wiring and printing industry. It focuses on the design and modeling of the part, making it specialized for naval architecture, marine engineering, and ship design. This involves my presentation. Thank you for listening.
Okay. Oh, then we can move on to description session. Hello, I'm Tommy Lee. Today I prepared a kid like something like a cloud. So you can join here. Oh, yeah. I already unlocked that cloud, cloud chat. Or you can enter this. And there's also the English, you can choose the okay. Let's start. The first question is uh, word about the word word loop. Uh, one of the place where the lines of a ship are placed at four sides and words are made for the construction. This all explains. Let's choose one. Very easy question. The answer is yes. The word test block is uh, where line is placed at extra size and words are made of core construction. Yeah. And this is uh, this picture. And this is one, two, and three. Please choose which, which is a uh, project plan. Who is a uh, hot plan? And, and that is a uh, very uh, sure plan. One number one is the short plan. So so this this here side is the body plan that the contour that along the length of the ship and this this side this yellow side is the short plan or bottom lines the contour that parallel to the heart and last is. Top view is a hard plus plan or water plan line and control the parallel to the back plane. Okay. It's the deep question session. So, why do you think that pairing is necessary? Or that why should the surface should be smooth? You can enter the answer or your opinion. How far 
working about it. So one is key. It's about the relate with the less least resistance. So many people said the resistance and breakfast. And one people said the about the stability. And it's it are almost similar things. This is the what drag and strength and stability. Yes, or or if working is good is It's very similar to others. I, in my opinion, the bearing can decrease the threat or resistance and increase the stability of the ship. Next is the same as the last question. The, what do you think are challenges of the using the 2D drawing for the ship building? You can think it is a pairing or the hard to drawing. <laughs> Other any any opinion is good. So one is the two D shape can now put me back to the three D and then hard to make nice and it's a uh, hard to draw by then and this is the uh, three three D so backing to a two D to three D is the hard work and on not easy to understand the so, Imagine the shape using the 2D drawing. Mm -hmm. Confusing and it's the uh, limited the partial understanding and error in interpretation, certain drawing error and difficult to manage. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. so I have to draw line and complex structure in this understand in 3D. And pretty complex in the under rubber drawing. It's a very good point. So, the way I see the it's very similar to what it appears. Uh, it is hard to get the line to match 3D, exactly in 3D. And in terms of the, the bearing, the smooth part can are easy to get in 2D, but difficult to in 3D. So, if you use a 2D drawing, the trial and error required. To perfectly best and make a smooth line. And let's move the parametric representation. So, which one is the uh, parametric representation? So number one is uh, explicit representation. It's uh, two is the uh, implicit representation, and third is the uh, parametric representation. The so parametric representation is uh, use one or more the parametric. Here is key. Which is a parametric representation. What do you think the or the advantages of the parametric representation? I think you may not think about for about this thing.
one is the intuitive. Uh, it's right because of uh, compared to the implicit representation, the chronic representation is good to imagine how the curve uh, move. And this is the in this system equation. So it may be connected with the it's easy to control the part. And yeah. this part complex equation is a good point because using the explicit representation, it may be hard to represent the complex complex geometry. Mm. Okay, that is the good point. So if you use the parameter representation, it's good for transform to other coordinate system. But the other implicit representation or implicit representation is hard to transform other coordinate system. This is uh, similar to the other thing. Uh, you can expect less variable. And then it's uh, have a flexibility to show the to represent the circuit and then back to the expansion and automatic update when design thing occurs. Like about the parametric modern easier to understand. Mm -hmm. and simulation and easy to implement. So similar to yours, I think the parametric representation is uh, easy to uh, for the transformation to other coordinate system, and it is easy to control the shape of curve or surface. The last question and very <laughs> easy. <laughs> what does the dark stand for? <laughs> the answer is a non uniform and rational is fine. It's better, probably it's a different term, a different that part. Okay, thank you. Thank you for participating. participating. This is the good winner. <laughs> okay. Thank you for participating. <laughs> Thank you. Interesting. All right. This is another uh, interesting talk here. So next week we will have a presentation on some projects. Any question? No. Bye and see you next week.